Plastic bags, bottles, worn out shoes. It seems today that the world has become our personal trash can. This callous approach in disposing our waste in a proper manner has led to drastic changes in our environment. Although we may not be able to explain coastal pollution as a whole, we intend to give you a brief overview in the next few minutes. Coastal pollution is most important because most of our fish is coming from the coastal regions. So, as fish are coming from the coastal region, obviously we must take care to protect the coastal environments. Otherwise, it is going to affect the fishermen who are fully dependent on that. Apart from that, it is also going to affect the supply of the fish as a whole. So, that is one of the most important things. And otherwise also whatever pollutions are generating, that is all mostly generating on the land and then ultimately when it is entering to the sea, it is the coastal region which is being affected. So these are the two most important points which have died. Apart from so many others, these are the most important So with respect to this, oil spill is one of the major problem actually, as most of the oil is being transported to the sea and then wherever it falls it forms a layer on the top and once it forms the layer on the top of that so it cuts the supply of the sunlight and once sunlight supply is restricted so it affects adversely the photosynthesis and apart from that as fish and all the most of the aquatic organisms you can say they breathe the oxygen dissolved in the water so when they are breathing, so that time they are facing the problem. Apart from that, this oil also goes inside the body and this is affecting them adversely. Obviously that is well known, there is nothing that we need to maintain the ecology properly. Once there is a ecological imbalance, it is going to create the problem and it will have the impact on the whole of the food wave and food chain if we operate in the system. It's the responsibility of everybody. All the stakeholders should join hands and then only any problem can be solved. It doesn't matter whether it is individuals or whether it is the people or the government. Everybody has got the responsibility. Of course, the government is having the major responsibility to create the awareness among the people and people should implement it. At the end of the day, it has to be implemented at the local level. If it continues in the same manner and if we do not exercise certain control measures, it's going to affect the ecosystem in the long run and then all the system will collapse. Otherwise, also you might be aware about the global warming and all these things happening. So that is creating a lot of problems. Once global warming is happening, then what is going to happen maybe in coming days there will be the migration of the fishes from one environment to the other and all, from water environment to the colder environment. That will affect the livelihood of the fish and that will affect the supply of the nutritional fish to the market and all that kind of that things will take place. The most important that everybody should take their own responsibility, they should carry out, they should maintain the cleanliness, then uh, whatever waste generated that must be disposed properly. Whatever uh, effluents are coming from the industry that must be treated before discharging to the environment so that it takes care. And uh, every individual should must behave in a responsible manner. Every individual should behave in a responsible manner, then absolutely. 
Coastal pollution has become such a huge issue which cannot be neglected. We cannot allow our ignorance to affect marine life any further. Instead of dumping our trash and letting it be fish fodder, we can create awareness. Creating awareness can help high authority take necessary action such as stricter government regulations, proper sewage treatment, renewable energy sources, and cut down on waste. Surprisingly, some of the best solutions for oceanic and coastal pollution can occur on the level of the individual or single home. Adopting a green lifestyle can lead to significant changes in the environment. Do your part by making certain changes in your life. For example, carrying a reusable shopping bag instead of plastic bags, storing food in reusable containers instead of those you throw away, recycling and not littering. We can go on and on, but the point we are trying to make is, not only are we hurting marine life, but we're disturbing the ecological balance. We only have one Earth. Let's keep it safe.